Hey guys! If you're needing a fresh face look to start off the new year with, I'm going to show you how to recreate Miranda Kerr's signature look. She's known for her fresh girl next door look with dimples. Start off bare face as always and we're going to go straight into the eyes. Using your brow pencil, start filling in your brows, recreating Miranda's full looking brows. Her brows are not only thick, but they're straight, so if you have a very high arch, try and bring them down just a bit. Lightly make feathery strokes like how I'm doing them here. It's going to look the most natural, and it won't look as if your brows were drawn on with a stencil. With your spoolie, blend everything out. Now that the brows are finished, let's move on to eye makeup. I'm using here a neutral Victoria's Secret eyeshadow palette. For the eyes, I'm going to mix together a light shimmering bronze color and a matte brick color. Loading it up on my fluffy brush, I'm going to apply this on my lids to contour my eyes. Try not to have your eye makeup looking too powdery. It should look more like a stain than anything else. Next step, using a highlighting color. The one I'm using here is more of a shimmering champagne eyeshadow color. Add this along the inner corners of your eyes to brighten them up like Miranda's. So, I have a sister who's a teenager, and I'm always suggesting for her to use a highlighting color on her eyes like this, because although it's very subtle and natural looking, it makes the biggest difference for the eyes and really adds life to them. Add the highlighter on the center of your lids and brow bone to help add extra dimension to your eyes. Taking the dark brick color again, apply this along the lower lash line so that the eyes are not too top heavy. And of course, use the darkest color in your palette and line your eyes. Try your best to keep the lines soft and hazy because this is only the first layer. We're going to be using pencil next and then liquid liner. Using my Dolce and Gabbana eyeliner, yes, it's very fancy. I'm going to line my eyes with the black eyeliner and build up the intensity. There's actually a reason why I like to layer my eyeliner from powder to pencil, and it's because it adds dimension to my eyeliner, similar to casting a drop shadow. You don't want the liquid liner to be as thick as the pencil liner. It should definitely be thinner or else it won't look as natural. Miranda has beautiful bluish gray eyes, so I'm going to wear my Solitica natural color contacts. These are some of the most realistic looking contacts, and the only online site that sells them that I know of is wrlens.com. I'm going to be curling my lashes using the Shu Uemura Lash Curler, and this is from the Carl Lagerfeld collaboration with Shu. When your lashes are curled, it creates an illusion of bigger looking eyes, so remember to always, always curl. Unless you have naturally curly lashes, then you're just lucky. Using your favorite mascara, apply as usual on the top and bottom lashes. Now that the eyes are done, it's time to move on to the face. Using my favorite concealer from Armani, this is their Master Corrector. It looks intimidating at first because it's so orange looking, but don't be fooled. The tiny eyeliner-like brush applies a very, very small amount of concealer, and the formula is easily blendable. You just need your delicate ring finger, nature's best makeup tool. Try and find a concealer with a peachy orange undertone because it's going to help neutralize the bluish purple dark circles. Miranda has very healthy looking skin, so I'm going to use very minimal foundation. The one I'm using here is again from Victoria's Secret, and with my stippling brush, I'm blending this onto my skin to create an airbrush finish. Don't be fooled, I don't have perfect skin, just perfect lighting. Now that my foundation is done, I'm going to move on to contouring. Using my matte taupe eyeshadow color, I'm going to contour the sides of my nose first, and then blend everything away with my fingers. With that finished, it's time to seal everything in with the translucent powder. And if you're not using a translucent powder, contour after this step or else your powder is going to cover up your contouring makeup. Moving on to the lips, so using a good lip balm is a must for me, which is why I've been loving this lip balm from Chorus. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it, but it's their lip butter formula and it feels so smooth and silky on the lips, like butter. For the cheeks, I'm using a rosy pink blush on the apples of my cheeks. This one is from Tarte. All you have to do is smile and brush on. Now that the blush is done, let's recreate Miranda's glowing skin. 
All you need is a good highlighter. The one I'm using here is from The Balm and it's called Mary Lou. You need just a little bit on your ring finger and pat this along the highest points on your cheeks to create an illusion of chubby cheeks. Anyone here with chubby cheeks, embrace them. Trust me because you'll look at least 5 years younger than anyone else your age. The older you get, the more baby fat you lose. Now it's time to recreate her signature dimples. Line up the eyeliner to your smile and staying within the cheeky area, draw a parenthesis. That's the best way for me to explain it. A dimple is a natural indentation usually on the cheek area that shows when you're smiling. And to me, there's always something so charming about dimples. I don't know why they're so darn cute, but I'm sure there's some science to it. And some people love them so much, they have them surgically made, which is kind of crazy because there's a surgery for everything now. Of course, no surgery is needed here, just brown eyeliner and a fluffy brush. Remember everyone, this only works when you smile because when you're not smiling and you have these fake dimples, it's gonna look funny. Now your Miranda Kerr look is complete. Only thing I'm missing now is her rockin' body, which unfortunately, I don't have a tutorial for. Someone needs to make it pronto. Good luck. Music by Neon Hitch, Love You Better, and Gold.